So this is a bit of a first. I've written in the past, in fact a couple of years ago, on my blog at idictate.com.au about the inability for Dragon to do voice to text for multiple speakers. So if you have an audio with two or three different speakers in it, then Dragon traditionally in the past has, has completely failed at being able to transcribe this. And this is generally because it needs the ability to, um, or it used to need the ability to have a trained profile. It seems though with the latest version of Dragon, um, this is Dragon version 6 for Mac that I'm going to show you, the ability to transcribe from audio files has been drastically improved. Um, so much so that I, I've got a, a short demonstration here of a recording using two speakers, one male, one female, and just to give you an idea of how accurate that transcription can be. So let me just set up my Dragon to transcribe these uh, multiple speakers. So all I'm all I'm really doing is creating a, a mini mini profile um, for the people who are in in the audio file. Just for my my reference, this is Lee Sales, ABC journalist, and Bill Shorten, who's a politician here in Australia. Um, we specify the accent that the the speakers have, which is Australian, and then we can add the audio file that we want to transcribe into the list. You'll notice here um, we have the option to define the output format for the voice to text, which is either rich text or Microsoft Word in this example. And we have to set a location for where those transcribed files are. And I'll show you the transcribed file once it's complete. So I have my audio loaded, two speakers. So let's start the transcription on that and we'll have a look at how that looks afterwards. Okay, so the transcription is complete. Let's have a look at the output file, Lee and Bill, which is a rich text file. Okay, let me just make this a little bit bigger so we can have a look, and then I'll play back the original audio so that we can see just how accurate that is. Okay, let's have a listen. And after a mad dash from the House of Representatives, Bill Shorten joins me now from our Parliament House studio. Thanks very much for being with us. Good evening, Lee. You've announced you'll support a 0.5% increase in the Medicare levy, but only for the top two tax brackets. Why isn't it fair for all Australians to help pay for the NDIS scheme? Disability can affect all Australians, after all. Well, first of all, the disability insurance scheme was fully funded uh, when Labor was in office. And secondly, I think there are other ways to help fund all of the requirements of government, including the uh, disability insurance scheme. I mean, for instance, why is the government giving away $65 billion to large companies in the next 10 years? You haven't addressed my question. Why shouldn't all Australians help pay for that scheme? OK, so there you have it. Just a short bit of audio. Two speakers, one male, one female. Dragon has never heard these voices before. It's straight out of the box. So, yep, there are a couple of um, missing words, a couple of mistakes in there, but if you imagine that you may have a 30, 40, 60 minute audio file, I think there's um, a lot of accuracy there from Dragon just to be able to do the, the bulk of the transcription for you and just literally do the proofreading. I hope this video has been of use.